टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द यूज ऑफ एसिड द फर्स्ट एसिड इज हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दट इट इज यूज इन ऑयल इंडस्ट्री टू डिजोल्व ऑयल बेरिंग रॉक्स सेकेंड टू मैन्युफैक्चर केमिकल्स सच एज ग्लू थर्ड टू प्यूरिफाई सॉल्ट एंड फोर्थ टू रिमूव स्केल्स दैट इज डिपॉजिट फॉर्म इन साइड बॉयलर्स इन वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज द प्रोसेस इज नोन एज डी स्केलिंग मीन्स टू रिमूव द स्केल्स कॉज बाई केमिकल बॉइलिंग नेक्स्ट यूज ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इज टू मेक एक्वारेजिया इट इज द थ्री पार्ट ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड मिक्स विद वन पार्ट ऑफ नाइट्रिक एसिड विच इज यूज टू डिजॉल्व द नोबल मेटल्स मीन्स द लीस्ट रिएक्टिव मेटल्स सच एज गोल्ड एंड प्लेटिनम बिकॉज दे आर अनफेक्टेड बाई द नॉर्मल एसिड्स लाइक हाइड्रोक्लोरिक और सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड यूजेज ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड्स आर टू मैन्युफैक्चर द फर्टिलाइजर सच एज अमोनियम सल्फेट एंड सुपर फॉस्फेट इन ऑटोमोबाइल बैटरीज इट इज यूज टू मैन्युफैक्चर डिटर्जेंट्स इट इज यूज टू मैन्युफैक्चर ड्रग्स प्लास्टिक्स पेंट्स एक्सेट्रा टू मैन्युफैक्चर सेवरल केमिकल्स सच एज कॉपर सल्फेट एप्सम सॉल्ट एक्सेट्रा एंड इन टेक्सटाइल पेपर एंड लेदर इंडस्ट्रीज इट इज यूज टू प्रिपेयर सो दीज आर द यूजेज ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड Uses of nitric acids are. It is also used to manufacture the fertilizers like ammonium nitrate. It is used to manufacture explosives such as TNT and nitroglycerine, which are used to make bombs. To prepare aqua regia that we have already studied. To extract some metals from their ores means to obtain metals from their ores, and to purify the precious metals such as silver and gold by dissolving the impurities present in the uh, ores. हेलो एवरी वन एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टाइप्स ऑफ बेसिस क्लास सेवन द लेक्चर टिल नाउ वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अबाउट एसिड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन डिटेल अबाउट बेसिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बेसिस दैट आर स्ट्रॉन्ग बेसिस एंड वीक बेसिस वॉट आर स्ट्रॉन्ग बेसिस दीज आर कोरोजिव इन नेचर कोरोजिव मीन्स if they come in contact with uh, any substance then they harm that substance basically when these substances can uh, if they touch in our on our skin then they can burn the skin also okay so these are very corrosive uh, examples of the strong bases are sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide now the weak bases these are not corrosive in nature and can be consumed or used in medication that we will study in uh, the uses of uh, particular bases uh, examples of weak bases are magnesium hydroxide copper hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide etc now let's talk about the properties of the bases first of all we will take the physical properties these are hydroxides of metals generally okay like already you have seen here magnesium hydroxide copper hydroxide these are metals sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide these are also metals okay so generally they are uh, metallic hydroxides uh, this is the case of ammonium hydroxide uh, about this i will explain in the at the last of this lecture that uh, this is not a metal right ammonium second point of physical property that is these are bitter in taste like uh, acidic substances are sour in taste uh, the bases are bitter in taste bitter means uh, means you can say that uh, like uh, these are uh, kad, uh, kadwa in taste or uh, you means the taste is not good third point is bases turn red litmus blue and uh, acids were turning red lit, uh, blue litmus into red so it is just opposite nature bases turn red litmus paper into blue fourth point is they have soapy feel means if we touch the bases like uh, if it is in the powder state if the, you take some powder you put some water in your hand and you make a solution then that solution will feel like a soap solution right they are not soap just a feel of soap okay because uh, that is that becomes very smooth now we talk about the chemical property the chemical property the very important property uh, and already we have studied that bases react with acids to give salt and water and this is also known as neutralization reaction one example we will discuss here that is nh4oh plus hcl that is ammonium hydroxide plus hcl this is hydrochloric acid so when base react with acid forms ammonium chloride this is a salt 
okay this is a base and this is a acid here we have got a salt and water it's produced so this is a neutralization reaction of base and an acid let's take one more example of uh, ferric hydroxide reacting with nitric acid forming ferric nitrate plus water feoh whole thrice this is ferric hydroxide reacting with hno3 this is a new acid which we are using so please learn this name it is nitric acid it forms ferric nitrate feno3 whole thrice plus 3 h2o this is water one more example of aluminium hydroxide plus h2so4 this is sulfuric acid this is aluminium hydroxide it is forming aluminium sulfate al2so4 whole thrice plus 6 h2o that is water so it is aluminium sulfate so you can see base plus acid salt plus water base plus acid gives salt plus water so all these reactions are of neutralization reaction example now very important point to be noted that is most commonly used bases are sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide they are soluble in water means if we put these bases in water they will get dissolved in water so the bases which are soluble in water are called alkalies means sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide are alkalies whereas some bases are not soluble in water these are not alkalies means if any base except all these three any base is called uh, that is not alkali because that is not soluble in water so thus very important line to learn all alkalies are bases but all bases are not alkalies i am repeating all alkalies are bases because these are the examples sodium hydroxide koh and cal calcium hydroxide these are alkalies but these are bases basically okay means alkali alkalies is a category in the bases only right so all alkalies are bases but all bases are not alkalies now uh, nh4oh it is very important very commonly used alkali and it is also not soluble uh, uh, it is also uh, sparingly soluble in water also it is aur uh, yahan par humne iske bare mein baat kari thi that uh, nh4oh okay this is not made up of metal is you know so it is the only base which does not have a metal atom in its molecule earlier you can see that uh, the earlier we have studied about sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium these all are metals sodium potassium calcium but in ammonium hydroxide it is not a metal so this is the only base which is not having a metal atom in its molecule instead of it a metal it has ammonium group this is called ammonium group nh4 plus ammonium group which is a radical i hope uh, uh, we have already studied this thing but uh, to explain again i am telling what are the radicals radicals are the group of atoms you can see group of atoms so one nitrogen four hydrogen so group of atoms so already we have studied when atoms combine together they form compound but the group of atoms which have charge on them positive or negative those are called radicals so this is the definition of radicals here so that's it all about uh, the bases and their activities and chemical properties or you can say the uses which are left that we will study in the next lecture this diagram shows that the bases are the big circles that yellow part and the alkalies are present in between them that means all the bases are not alkalies whereas all alkalies are considered as bases for example like sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide are alkalies and bases